Let's go with questions down front. Ola. Uh, Coach, did the uh, officials give you any explanation on uh, why an uh, offsides penalty wasn't called there at the end? Um, no. They just said that um, they didn't call it. Mark. Coach, it looked like there was a lot of trouble trying to get any rhythm with the offense for the first three quarters, and then everything started clicking in the fourth. What changed? Well, um, you know, we made some adjustments at halftime. We were able to to move it a little bit better, and uh, um, you know, some, some different play selection. So, um, you know, we 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 kicked off to them, and and really um, they had the first possession and, and took their time and. So it was really the second half. We were we were more efficient offensively in the in the whole second half, and we had to be because we weren't very good the first half. Down front, Ola. Yeah, along the sides of that la that last play, was there anything that Kyle should have done differently on the, on that last play? Uh, we, uh, hey, Olin, you've seen us before. That's part of a, of what we do. Um, when when we have someone in a neutral zone. Um, our center snaps it, and we have a free play. And we try to take advantage of that. We've scored in a lot of – we've scored some times off of that. We've, we've gotten some uh, other things. And, 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 you know, unfortunately, that uh, ball looked like it may have slipped a little bit coming out of his hand. But, you know, that's, that's what he's coached to do. Other questions? Over here to the left. Coach, was, uh, was LSU doing anything specifically on defense to kind of smother that passing offense of yours in the first half? Um, I thought that uh, they did a good job. You know, we, we got some more, um, some different types of plays in the second half. Um, and, you know, quarterbacks, our, our guys were getting open. We had some drops too, you know, a couple couple drops and some shortened routes that, that uh, could have been first down depth. But we got tackled short. They did a good job of tackling. Um, so... Um, no, I th you know they. It was going to be that type of game, man to man. We had to, you know, you got to, you've, you've got to be able to to uh, compete against man to man. Second half, our guys competed and uh, got open, and uh, we got some holding calls too, some pass interference calls because of it, um, and and really challenged them. So, no, I think it was it was basically the same for for uh, for really the whole game. Anything else? Back over here to the left, John. Coach, what do you tell your team now that you have to sit with this loss but know that there's still a bowl game ahead? No, I, I told them at the, uh, you know, I was sorry for the seniors um, for their last game here uh, at home. Uh, I told them that I was um, proud of the way that, uh, you know, all three phases at the end of the game gave us an opportunity. Uh, to, to win, and uh, you know, defense came up with a stop. Special teams came up with some, just some disruption for the field goal, and then uh, you know, gave us the ball back with uh, one timeout to play and, and a chance to score a touchdown and win the game. So you know, our guys didn't quit, um, and uh, you know, that's important. And, and uh, you know, so um, we didn't make enough plays to win, but we did not quit, and and. Uh, that, that's the kind of uh, uh, you know, we, we if we had played that way in the first half we, we probably might have been different but um, you know you know how we treat bowl games here we, a week from Sunday we'll 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 know who we're playing and where we're going we're going to be excited about that and uh, you know we've always treated them the same since we've been here as the really the start of the next season because of uh, you know the young players practicing um, and um, you know our seniors really, you know, leaving a legacy of what they can do. I think uh, this is one of the only teams. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it? Uh, they've, they've won three straight bowl games, so they've, they've got a chance yeah. for four. This is the uh, yeah the first one ever, right? Yes, sir. In in, in the history, history of the school, of that can uh, win four straight bowl games, and so that's a lot to play for. Gabe, you have one left. 
Okay, what's your process here? Seven and five, obviously it's not what you're looking for. As you evaluate your staff, where do you go from here over the next week, two weeks? Yeah, well, we start uh, recruiting contact period uh, uh, really Sunday. You know, so we'll be in people's homes and out next week and uh, mix that. You know, I'll sit down tomorrow and and, uh, and start, you know, just as we've done through the course of the year and, and uh, look at where we are and, and what we need to do from a big picture standpoint. And, and then uh, we'll go from there. Down front, Olin. Kevin, how surprised, or were you surprised, when uh, uh, Armani was uh, uh, disqualified from the game? Um, you know, the, the replay up there didn't look, it looked like a shoulder to me. So, you know, I, I, I thought it was going to get overturned. Anything else? All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you.